I love it. I love this air. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> shade, shade, door, door, other door. <laughs> it's the okay. It's the queen. Yeah. <laughs> now we're in a uh, Japan uh, empress. They call her Queen Himiko. He's the Emperor? Yeah, I believe they still call her Queen Himiko. Ah. We've seen her a few times in some... We have? They, they kept showing a mysterious woman praying and watching you. It was her. Because <laughs> she has that, um... That thing floating over her head as a fancy crystal ball. To go back to that discussion point for a minute of games, I get the idea that, oh, this game is amazing, but it's like the opening is awful, but at the same time, I feel like, depending on the game and depending on the... I, I feel like if you can rush through the opening relatively quick on subsequent playthroughs, it's not that bad, because like a funny... Thing is, and I think this is something the, I think the, um, this HD version added. I don't know if the HD version on the PS3 could do this. Initially, due to like you know limited PS2 and Wii loading, the initial versions of the game you can only skip certain cutscenes. I believe in this one you can skip everything. More or less, but we're just doing a straight through run here, so. No. Queen of Cyan City. Yeah. See? Queen. <laughs> oh, you horny fuck. So, anywho, I feel like it kind of needs a caveat, and I understand if a game doesn't hook you immediately, it might be hard. That's why I said I feel it that comes down to how easily it can be sped through, like, the opening of, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2 is kind of known for being bad, but if you basically do skip everything and only get the lowest amount of money required, it can be, like, about 45 minutes, maybe an hour at the most, it depends on what mini game you decide to grind it out with. And as far as this game goes, I don't think the tutorial in the Cave of Nagi is that bad. And I personally really enjoy the combat in this game. And the reason I enjoy the combat, it starts off basic. But what I love about the combat is every one of your powers has some sort of combat use in a technical sense. Even if I don't like Cherry Bomb, it doesn't yeah, mean... that's like a funny thing uh, with it. Is, you know, like... Besides, basically, this game coming out on the PS2 when, like, the PS3 was out. There's in the early wow. days of the PS3, so let's be honest. That actually probably helped the game more in the uh, long run. But, like, because of that, and also due to it, it's American launch happening to launch around when Twilight Princess did, it kind of... I compare it to that, which I find fascinating because due to the way, you know, the brush powers work, I would actually say the game is more like Wind Waker in that regard of the brush powers having uses in both combat and puzzles. And I think that this yeah. game has way better wolf combat than Twilight Princess. Well, you're stuck as the, a wolf for the entire game, so like, let's be honest, this, uh, 
But let's be honest, you being a wolf in this game really doesn't do anything. You are a wolf in name only. Yeah, basically. You have full combat capability and a fucking double jump. Mm -hmm. I love the movement in this game. Mm. And I also think the combat is really fun. <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Isun. It's, this is Isun we're talking about. Yeah, you're right. This man's the king of thirst. So to explain what's actually going on. I don't know if we have to listen to her. Uh, no, I believe you do. I I remember having to talk to her like three fucking times. That is the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that. I hate. I goddamn hate that. Just force me into the fucking dialogue anyway. Yep, you're right. Stop doing that! There we go! <laughs> yeah! You're right! Three times! <laughs> like, there is no reason for any of that. Because, like, the stupid thing is the game doesn't let you leave to go save, right? If you tried to leave, Ethan would stop I think you, he would say, hey, maybe you we should... and, uh, tell you to listen to her, so what? Yeah. No, because... No, no, I you know he, like, he's reaffirming it, but that, that's kind of my point of... Because he told about what you're supposed to do, that means I'm pretty sure if you tried to leave, he would say to go listen there, so why make me talk to her? That is one- What is the point of that? I love this game, but there is a little bit of jank in this game. It's not even really jank, it's just weird design of why did the, uh, I not just immediately for- Oh yeah, that's another thing, because the lava counts as fire. <laughs> Why did, like, I not just, you know, immediately get forced into a dialogue after the cutscene? Up. Oh. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is a really good game. Anyway, back to the combat thing, I'm using this to a point, and, you know, it is kind of funny given the. Wind Waker comparison. I noticed a lot of people, they seem to, because they think of the brush techniques as like the items basically from Zelda, much like in most Zelda games, people don't think to use them for combat. They Boy, think to, the door. They think to like only use your like sword and stuff for combat. Where a common thing I have hmm. noticed sometimes. <laughs> I'll pop into and at least watch for five or ten minutes blind runs of people starting this game for the first time. And a lot of blind runs, especially blind runs near the end of the game, I noticed a common running theme where a lot of people didn't pick up on certain things. And a lot of people never think about the brush techniques in combat. Like, that one person who said they would watch this... Where he said, I never thought about slowing down time in combat. It just, like, never crossed his mind. Which, you know, it goes back to a thing I've been saying, like, for years, which is, essentially, everyone always, you know, goes on about silent tutorials and teaching without teaching and all that depends on whole shit, but I basically have seen enough accounts of 
if a game doesn't give any indication that you can do something, people just don't do it. Holy shit, that actually worked. Yeah! It's fire! Their finisher's fire! Mm. Bum bum. I know what I'm doing! At least good enough! No, no, I, no my, like, that actually worked. It wasn't, you know, like a thing of. Oh, <laughs> my thing was that I expected it to work, because I had remembered that being the case that, you know, because that ability just lets you summon fire anywhere that those enemies are weak to that. I expected the game to not read basically the Inferno input or for the other thing to happen if the game reads it, but because placing that kind of like Cherry Bomb can be kind of jank, it would be placed like over in a... Yeah. Though, unlike Cherry Bomb, that one's stationary, basically where you draw it, so it's... It's easier to it's aim. It's easier, but harder as a point of point, because if you fuck up, you could run into a cherry bomb and push it into something. Northern, the Northern Coast! Oh, hi, French Dante. <laughs> I love... It used to be one big Curzon out here, but yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions. I love that nonsense. It's like Flingy beating one of the bosses before you get there in Dynamite Heady. Mm-hmm. You see, it's not laziness. It shows how, how capable your rival character is. It's not like Treasure didn't have enough time or cartridge space to put an extra boss in. Hush you with that silliness. I actually don't know if that's the case. <laughs> Au revoir, baby. Considering how that game is, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, the plan of you, one of the bosses just flat out being skipped, if that was, like, full, you know, a full plan from the beginning, because Treasure be like that. That's kind of gross when you think about it. I cannot- Oh! Because- I was gonna say, because it is wind-based, I believe it was missed. Because, didn't we encounter the wind mirror before this point? So... It was a good chunk of... Yeah. Stray beads, but I might do a lot more plot than- Oh, yeah, the the Guardian equivalent of Black Amps. I don't remember what they're weak to. It, again, might be... Cherry Bomb? It is either Cherry Bomb or Veil of Mist. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it. There's a lot you can do out here, yes. but... Is there a dojo out here? I think there is. Oh, wait! You're gonna say, like... Damn it! Isn't the dojo... Damn it! Alright. Oh, wait, the stupid one. I hate when games do this crap. So yes, I even um, hate Mother Child Island doing this crap in a Wind Waker, especially because Wind Waker's use of it is arguably more dick, because this one at least had the subtitle of Rocky area showing that it was different. If you see the warp to Mother Child Island, you might think that it, the warp just puts you on the outside instead of actually putting you in the island. I don't even believe you can jump that. No. Nope. 
I am stuck up here. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. This exists for that praise. Hey, at least it's just praise that's up here. Stray bead. Okay, yeah, that too. You need... Mm. If you're going for all stray bead, you need mist warp. Mm -hmm. I have mist warp, so I don't well, have a problem. I, to, you know, to be fair, that's not that dumb. It's, it's just, just one of the, my, like... My problem is, outside of looking at it on the map, I don't... Do we have digging champ? I can only wait, I have the first level, I think. Yeah. We there, have the first level. There isn't level. levels. There isn't? No. I thought there was. I don't guess there's a dojo out here. I thought... I thought the other large building was the dojo. No. What's the one large building, then? What are you doing? What? What the hell are you? Yes? What do you mean, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> it just made that fruit ripen. These arrows must be possessed or something. Oh no! I just remembered I've got to be somewhere. Uh, where was it again? Never mind, I gotta go. Can't be late. And just for the record, I'm not running away. I'm not scared. Well, goodbye, good luck. Oh, hey, money. You never need to do that. Oh. Too far. Secret bonds. All oh, the bonds in the world. God damn it! Someone must really be trying to breathe for that hidden ability score, honey. You might notice that there's just, like, all the praise in the world. <laughs> Meaning, I might go back to an earlier dojo and see if this one ability I want it exists. Because I'm not actually sure when... What, like, what were the three buildings, basically, that were here? I remember what one of them is. It's a restaurant, that one dude's fishing hut. Get all the praise. Uh -huh. There's a stray bead in here too. Four statue and Golden Beach. With all of that said, out well, we go. Like, of course, the area would be full of praise. It would be a secret area. It would be a real dick move for the game designers to hide like a pain in the ass mini game in a secret area. But they would never do that. Ever. Ever. Do that. Leans into Mike. I'm uh, I'll just leave that alone for now. I'm just saying. saying. <laughs> then I tore out his throat. Boat away! Boat away again! It's best if you want to use the wind, it's like best to aim the camera fully sideways like that. Oh, come on! Uh, gotta make sure it has. Gotta make sure it has the loop. Fully sideways, and I still. I think it is partly based off the direction Ami's facing. Thirty frames. That's that's all I needed. <sighs> is I was the loop de loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. That was Ween that sings that, right? Also, you you pronounce it Ween, right? It's Ween. Okay, he, he got them to sing that. I think? 
<laughs> and, <laughs> which is funny, you know. He let them and for them. anyone wondering why I'm going this way, yeah. on. can you make it? It's just easier to get on them. And also, while I don't believe any of them were important collectibles, there are, I believe, clams on the shoreline that have shit in them. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, how many of you that played this game blind never thought about using the celestial brush techniques in battle. A common consensus I noticed in a bunch of different streams was basically a lot of people rarely used the powers in combat like the one guy that said he never really thought about using the veil of mist in combat to slow down time and i find that incredibly interesting because blight's weakness is veil of mist and it really does surprise me that a lot of people never get the idea of using the powers in combat to help basically make combat more trivial. I noticed a lot of people will use the powers if they have to, but outside of that, a lot of people never use the powers for utility reasons, Vel of Mist, slowing down time, is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Overall, it really does amaze me that a lot of people never thought about little utility cases like that. I watch so many Let's Plays and videos about this game before I ever played it, and doing so put the idea in my head that I should use the powers constantly to trivialize certain fights and make the game far more fair and balanced, but anyway, I'm getting off track. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All of my Social media links, as well as my Discord links, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will. See you all next time. So, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.